So in this video, we're gonna be finishing out the Pokemon service test. And first thing that we want to do is we want to actually unit test the get by ID. And this is going to be a relatively simpler unit test, maybe not simple, but a lot simpler than the previous one. And first thing that we're going to do is I'm just gonna take this create Pokemon. I'm going to copy and paste it. And I'm gonna go down here and copy, uh, paste it down below the get all. And because we're getting the Pokemon by ID, we are going to change this. So say get, get Pokemon by ID, and it's going to return a Pokemon DTO. So we're not going to change that. Uh, next thing that we need to do is we need to mock this find by ID. So what I am going to do is uh, just go into here and I'm going to change this to dot find by ID. So dot find by ID. And what we're going to pass into this is a one, or you could pass in literally anything. You could even go up here and put your own Pokemon uh, number right here. You could do that as well too. But I think in this case, it's easy just to go in and actually add the one to it. And there's no harm in just adding the one. I think you could make it more explicit, but these are really simple unit tests. So I don't think that's really necessary in my opinion. Okay, um, so we're not we're not returning something, right? So what we need to do is we need to go over here and figure out what we need to return. So what we need to do is we need to turn this into an actional optional. So um, that's the reason that we're getting the error. So we need to go in here and we need to change this to of nullable, and then we need to put the Pokemon inside of it because that is the reason that we are getting that error. We need to also take away that extra um, parentheses right there. So next thing that we're gonna go down and do is actually create the uh, the acting. So what we need to do is we need to actually execute this method and we're going to say Pokemon service dot get by Pokemon ID and we can just pass in once again a one and that should be okay. And we can return is not null just to make sure that we're actually returning something. And we can also get rid of this DTO. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and run this just like this. That looks good. Looks like our uh, our test is running good. Let's go ahead and let's move on to the update method. I am going to go ahead, I'm going to paste this down here and I'm gonna change this to update Pokemon. And it's going to return a Pokemon DTO just like the rest of them. We can leave this. The only thing that we need to do now is we also need to have a find by Pokemon ID um, right here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take this and we can paste it up above here. And let's just go ahead and make sure that it is what exactly that we want. So it is indeed a find by ID and let's make sure is it returning and it is returning an optional. So that looks good as well too. So find by ID, we also have our Pokemon DTO. Now we're going to change this to the actual update. So we're going to say update Pokemon and then we're going to pass in our Pokemon DTO. So we're going to say Pokemon DTO, then we're going to say Let's see here, we also need to pass in an ID of, let's just say one. That looks good. So once again, I'm gonna go ahead and here, I'm gonna hit the uh, update <clears throat> or the run test and make sure that we've got a green check mark. We are good to go. Now we can finally move on to our last and final one for the Pokemon service. And that is going to be the delete. The delete's going to be a little strange looking. So what we're gonna do is just copy and paste um, this get by ID because it's going to be somewhat similar. So what I'm gonna do is number one, I'm just gonna leave this Pokemon builder and then I'm gonna have a win. I'm gonna have my find ID, gonna have the return option of nullable. Then I'm gonna go down here and instead of actually doing an assertion, I'm going to assert that I'm gonna do an assert all. And the reason that we need to do an assert all is because the delete method is returning a void and you have to do this thing called an assert all in order to actually handle a void method like this. So we're going to say Pokemon service dot delete Pokemon by ID. And then we're going to have the Pokemon. Uh, we'll just say one. We'll say we'll pass in the one again. So here, so we'll say saved Pokemon. And we don't need this, just need the assert all. Go ahead and let me see here. Oh, assert all. So we're gonna, there we go. 
and import static method. Let's go ahead and run it. Let's see what happens. And we've got our green check marks. So that's it for our Pokemon class. Now we're going to move on to our review class. And after that, we are going to move on to our controllers. Hope that you guys like this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.